am here with Abby Hebron, and she is a pediatric specialized registered dietitian with the Brittany Jones Nutrition Group. So thank you so much for joining us today. Of course. Thank you for having me, Gary. Yeah, for sure. Today we want to discuss baby formula. As a mother myself, I have an eight-month-old, and there's just so many options out there. They all advertise different things. They all say, this is the closest thing to breast milk that you can get, you know? And I think it's very confusing, and parents, they want what's best for their child. So we want to discuss baby formula today, how to help parents pick out what is the best for their child or infant. Uh, so yeah, let's go over kind of what's the main difference between all the different formulas out there. Absolutely. And there, so there, like you were saying, when you walk into a shelf or when you walk into a store, there, the shelf is just bounding, overbounding with um, different types of formula, different colors, different names. Um, and so as a dietitian, being, you know, in the pediatric specialty too, I can help parents find that individualized formula that they need. Um, and so the primary difference, whenever you start breaking things down, that first branch that starts to separate formulas is the type of protein that's in them. So you have plant-based protein formulas, and that might sound really, really helpful, right? Because as adults, we're told to add more plants into mm -hmm. our diet, but for infants, it's a little bit different. So these plant-based formulas are typically made of soy or pea protein, and it's the protein type is not very similar to breast milk, like you were mentioning. Um, and so they really should be reserved only whenever a physician deems that a medical condition is necessitates okay. a plant-based protein, whereas dairy Based proteins are typically made from cow's milk or goat's milk, and those type of proteins, casein and whey are the names, um, are the most similar to breast milk, and so those should be used for a majority of the, the infants. Okay. So stick to cow's or goat's milk unless your doctor tells you otherwise. Now, even if the formula is dairy-based, what should you be looking for? Because I know there's a lot of dairy-based formulas out there. Yes, and they're, like I was saying, on the infant cans, you'll see lots of different claims, you know, of different health benefits. Yeah. Um, and so every kid is different, and a lot of them are not necessary for, for health because if the FDA proves it to be safe, then it is safe and will help a kid grow and develop appropriately. However, there are three things that I typically tell parents to look for if it's within their budget and if it's a priority for them. Um, and the first being organic or non-GMO. Um, that can definitely help provide a little bit of insurance just to know that the ingredients that are in your formula are not prepared or not around or exposed to um, pesticides. Now the second um, is ARA or DHA. These are two fatty acids that are incredibly important for brain health and have been found to be in breast milk too. And then lastly, probiotics and prebiotics. And they come under a fancy name called HMOs. Um, so if you see that on the can, that's a fancy word for prebiotics. And these can help your gut develop a little mm. bit better in infants and then also your immune system. You know, I actually gave my son prebiotics, but I yeah. never checked it in the formula. I didn't realize they, they have can. those in formula. It is, and it, that's the great thing about technology is we're able to find what's in breast milk and mimic that. And you're absolutely right. Some of them come in concentrated little supplements and then they can also add it to the formula though. All right, and let's talk about preparing formula because I know that is a big part of making sure that what your child consumes is safe and um, you know n doesn't have bacteria getting into it or anything like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. So let, let's talk about that. I would argue that preparing the formula is just as important as picking the right formula too because it can cause a lot of issues. Mm. Um, and so making sure to read the instructions on the can because um, all of them are a little bit different. So the formula that I have here, the instructions are two ounces per one scoop, um, but all of them could be a little bit different. So before you do anything though, you always wanna wash your hands. So wash your hands well, sanitize the surface you're gonna be using to make sure that any bacteria won't get into your baby's formula. Then after you add the water, which it's always best to use nursery or baby formula or distilled water as well. Um, and you were mentioning don't use water just out of your fridge because that's not fully uh, clean. clean. Yeah, so it's not fully purified typically. Um, unless there's city tap water, it could be okay for older infants, but the younger they are, the better it is to use um, nursery or distilled water, absolutely. Um, and so you always wanna add the water first, and then I always say that formula is like um, flour, not, not brown sugar. So flour, you wanna scoop it and then level it off. You don't wanna pack it inside. And so then you want to add that to <laughs> You add that to the bottle, that one. <laughs> absolutely, um, and hopefully my baby will be bigger so then you don't have to do just one <laughs> or have a bigger bottle too, um, and so then you can shake it up and mix it together. So hopefully you would actually get this, this, the powder, most of it in the, the bottle next time. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. But, but usually are, I think the scoop or, or the bottles usually, are I mean, I should bigger. these ones <laughs> are much bigger. So. Absolutely. All right, well, I think that that's about all we have time for, but Perfect. thank you so much for uh, joining us today. I know as a mom myself, I had so many questions, and you actually answered quite a few of them here, so it's been great. I'm glad that I could share a little bit of information on such a great topic. So all right, thanks, thank Abby.